Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday, March 30th, 2018. I'm Lisa, and I'm here with my week uh, 57, week 57 post duty no switch update. Um, my stats, as usual, I am 49 years old. I am 5'2". My starting weight on January 2nd of 2017 was 344.6. My day of surgery was February 24th, 2017. My weight that date was 308.8. Um, I did have the traditional duodenal switch surgery. And last week I came to you at 162.4. And this week, I'm so very excited. I'm coming to you at 158.4. So I have four pound loss this week, yay. So that's really, really exciting. Um, I'm just, I'm very excited to be in the 150s. Oh my God. Um, that's like really cool. And um, so my four pound loss, why did I have a four pound loss this week? What's different? Well, I um, started back at the health club. My daughter and I got a membership at just a very small health club here locally. It's called Fitness 19. Um it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of the really big fitness places, you know, no pools, no tracks, no classes like that. It's literally simply a place to go and utilize um, free weights, machines, that kind of stuff. So, um, but yeah, I went, I think, three times. We started on Saturday and I went three times this week. And I'll be honest with you guys, it um, doesn't take much to change things. So, you know, I have to start things really slowly because of my um, hip surgery. And I did double check that my doctor was okay with, you know, what I was starting. And, oh, excuse me. Not enough sleep here at my house, sorry. <laughs> um, so I was able to do not only the stationary bike, um, but also an elliptical machine. And I couldn't do them for a ton of time, but um, you know, by the end of the week, the last time I went, I was able to combine the two of those cardio things for a total of 22 minutes, which for me is great. Um, it's a start and you know, when I start to feel that hip kind of acting weird, I stop, it's just that simple. Um, and then I did a bunch of like ab machine things and um, also um, a lot of upper body machines. I'm staying away from the lower body. Um, don't want to do anything with the legs uh, since I'm doing the cardio that's really utilizing those big, you know, thigh muscles and glutes and stuff. So um, staying away from legs. But yeah, so it's been good. Um, it's been good, but when I went, um, I'm trying to make sure that I take at least a day in between as a break for recovery, um, and I went on Wednesday, yes, today's Friday, I went on Wednesday last, and I'll be honest with you, I overdid it. <laughs> I overdid it, um, even though I didn't think I was, oh my gosh, like, even just to, like, touch today is fine, but to touch my pectoral muscles, um, Wow. So, uh, yeah, even though I was doing not like high weights or anything, it just goes to show you how weak my upper body has gotten. So I'm working on it, but, um, but it felt good to be back in the gym and I think I'm taking today off and, um, going to go again tomorrow morning and just, tr I'm trying to go like, you know, three times a week right now is is kind of my my goal um and how will that change in the summer because see i really was kind of hesitating going back to a gym at all right now because summer's coming and for me that's when i love to be outside and go walking outside and swimming that's my main source of energy or um, exercise in the nice months is to go swim so what am I going to do? I'm at least my goal for the summer is very realistic when it comes to the gym. If I get there one day a week, I would be good with that. Anything over that, 
is bonus. So my goal for summertime, one day. I think it's really realistic. Um, so I also wanted to just talk about this. So since my last video talking about my skin um, issues in the changing room, yeah, uh, I have contacted two plastic surgeons. I have two consultations set up during WLSFA in San Antonio. So I'm very excited to go and talk with them, at least to get the dialogue started and to get an idea of the expense we're talking about of what I would love to have done, right? If I could, if I could do everything. Um, I am still going to talk to my surgeon's office in May to see what they have to say. Oh yeah, I guess. Woo. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I wish I could edit that out, but I'm not that savvy. So what do I want to have done? It has really changed a lot. Like originally, I wasn't thinking of doing anything with the whole Tata -ta section, but I'll be honest with you, it's pretty bad. Uh, if I could just lift it and snip it and whatever and be left with the very minimal breast tissue that I have, um, I would probably do that. However, I don't think it's possible with um, the condition of what's going on. So, you know, arms are a big deal. I have all this skin just hanging all over the sides of me and my back and my belly and uh, my lawns, um, my thighs, my butt. I mean, my God, it's everywhere. <laughs> so, you know, like I said, uh, go big or go home, right? I'm gonna, gonna find out what everything would be and how I would figure out paying for it. That's a whole nother video. <laughs> um, don't even know how I'm gonna figure out paying for it, but I've worked so hard and made all these improvements. Uh, I would like to actually be able to completely see the fruit of my labors. Uh, and not feel so self-conscious because now I really, um, yeah, it's just way more of a, a, an issue than I thought it would be. So I'm, I'm really actually considering also making an appointment with um, the, I think he's a psychologist, through my surgeon's office and maybe just kind of have uh, a sit down with him just to kind of talk about my feelings about where things are at and how I feel about myself because I still kind of don't you know most days I feel really good and like the other day I was feeling so good in my workout clothes I was so excited that for those of you who follow me on Instagram um I was like having a wow I look pretty pretty good today type of a day and then I went and I tried on bras. Oh my God. It was so depressing. <laughs> it was so depressing. Um, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, so it kind of, you know, put me into a little bit of a tailspin uh, for the rest of that day. But I'm pretty much over it. Not 100%, but pretty much over it. <laughs> but anyway, um, so that's that. And then the last thing that um, I wanted to mention is I did kind of really, really quickly mention that I'm going to do a giveaway. I decided that um, when I hit 375 subscribers or more, I will announce my giveaway. I've been collecting things and uh, yeah, so I'm not quite there yet. I think I'm at like 362, um, which I'm thrilled about, but happy that you're all here and with me. Um, yeah, so that's kind of how my week has been. Eating's been okay, you know, some days better than others. Today's Good Friday, and I am going out for a lunch with a girlfriend. And it uh, looks like my husband and I have no kids for the night. Uh, one is going to go to, uh, like, Easter, big Easter celebration at a friend's house, like, where they do a Easter egg hunt and... And he's actually staying overnight there. And my daughter is now going to go downtown with a friend and her friend's family for the for the late afternoon, early evening. So I, I don't know what my husband and I are doing for dinner tonight. So we'll see. Maybe he and I will go out. That'd be nice. Date night. 
I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. Happy Easter to everybody. I love you all. I, hey, I want to take a poll. So, those of you who watch my channel and are in the weight loss community, please, 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 let me know if you're going to WLSFA, okay? So put it in the comments and just say, yes, I'm going, or no, I'm not going, which will make me sad, but uh, let me know. Have a great week, everybody. See you soon. Bye.